ten percenter has written me. It needs your question answered, and I shall answer it. You are in luck, Magnesita. So, this is what she says. She says, Dear Tyrone, it's me, your Magnesita Maria from Germany. Oh. So, it's me, so I know you. I, my memory has not been jogged. Maybe a naked picture, if you could send that to me, that would jog my memory. Just kidding, not really. But, says, I wrote you a while ago with a question, and I would still really love to hear your opinion and advice on this one. That's why I'm writing you again, and I hope I don't bother you. None of my Magnus sites bother me when you need help legitimately. Um, I will go on a first date in two weeks with a man who I think might really, might be really shy and not very talkative. What do you think I can do or should do to make him feel comfortable so he will open up and we can have a real conversation? What are the things I should not do? Thank you so much for taking the time to answer my question. One million subscribers, Maria. Well, Maria, um, Maria, going to tell you what to do. Um, what you, I'm going to try to only give you things that you should do, okay? But one thing you don't want to do with someone who's probably introverted is you don't want to pressure them. All right, so that's something that you don't do. So if you're very outgoing um, and he's not, he probably recognizes that. He probably likes that. A lot of times couples get together and you'll have similarities, you know, a common line of similarities within you. But at the same time, you'll have um, these uh, more crazy, like one will be outgoing and one will be more reserved. So the more outgoing one helps keep the more reserved one's life more adventurous, while the more reserved one helps keep the more outgoing one more grounded. Okay, you understand that balance? So you two probably have a similar dynamic to that. So when you're talking to someone that's introverted, um, you're going to want to peel the onion. I learned this in sales. When you peel the onion, you're basically layer by layer. You're asking questions that helps you find out more about the person. Because people only buy from people they like for the most part sometimes if you need a product and the salesperson is an asshole you'll buy it anyway but stay with me here so you're gonna want to basically on a date and I do this you're gonna want to ask questions that help you find out more about them find out more about their hobbies their loves their passions their goals because guess what people love ter talking about numero uno the most and that is themselves. Um, it's it's rare. Um, I mean, people know when they're going on too much about themselves, but they're they're always their favorite subject for the most part. You know, your life is lived to help benefit you the most. So when someone says, you know, if I was on a date and I was introverted, which I actually I think I am more of an introvert than anything. Um, I know it's surprising. I just I'm more of an introvert, well, a wild side, but. Um, if someone would ask me, um, so, um, uh, you going to see Avengers? Oh, I'm, if I'm, yeah, I'm going to perk right up. We're going to start talking that conversation. We could talk about the first Avengers movie. We could get into all the different separate Avengers movies. We could talk about Spider-Man possibly. I mean, do you understand, do you see how that, how that could just spark a huge long conversation? That's what you're going to want to do with someone that's introverted. Because most introverts will talk once you spark their interest. That's what it is. So, you know, extroverted people, they, they'll talk about almost anything. They'll, they'll talk about bullshit, nothing, just to talk because they're extroverted. But introverts, you have to grab their attention. So it'll be your job. And this is, I think, the only advice I can give you. This will be your job. It will be your job to ask questions. Just get to know him. And when you find something where you have that spark in his eyes, 
where he lights up. Grab it. All right, hold on. And that, it will be the focus. That's called the hot button when you're talking to a customer. You know, and dates are sales. Dates, in the, in the, in the, if you, it's all how you look at it. You're selling yourself. And you're also saying if you want the product sitting across the table from you, okay? You're both selling each other on why you should buy, why you should be together, okay? So you're going to want to, you know, like I said, hey, you could be talking to them, and you could be like, oh, so, so you like to play any games? You'd be like, uh, yeah, you know, I like, um, you know, shoots and ladders and candy land and Oh, do you like chess? Do you like checkers? Oh, I love chess. Boom. You see that? Grab it. That's the hot button, okay? Because you are going, that is going to get him to talk the most. And then you can expand from that. Uh, have you been in any chess tournaments? Have you ever been in a chess tournament? You know what I mean? you know anybody else that plays chess? Are you part of a chess club? You see that? You see how you're grabbing and so many? Well, if it's a bodybuilder. Oh, have you ever... So I can tell you're fit, you know. Have you ever been in a bodybuilding contest? No, think about it. I got a buddy. Oh, have you ever been to a show? Oh, yeah, we should go to a show together. Yeah, they're pretty cool. This and that. What supplements do you use? You see that? You see? Because he's going to be passionate about that. You know, oh, do do you eat like six, seven meals a day? Yeah, well, you know, sometimes I go eight or nine, you know, if I have the time. You know, yeah, I eat my broccoli. I eat my beef. you You see that? It's going to get him to come out of his shell. Okay? I hope I have helped you, Magnusita. One million subscribers. Don't forget the naked pic. Woo!